right there about to fry. I can't fuck with no these lanes, they gon' fuck me last. Okay, so TR. We call her T Money because she don't like being called TR, even though that's her real name. <laughs> I like call her T Money. I have seen you speak on players climbing and not falling. If I were to label a player being the most consistent, most consistent out okay. of everybody we have. It would be a three-way race between Fantasia, Callie, and T. With T probably at number one because T has not missed a practice. Oh. I think she, unless she got I think she probably missed one. But I think she was sick. I might be wrong. I might, she might have still made it. I don't think she has missed anything. She might not, if she did, it was early on. All I know is I've seen T at every practice. And to your point, Unlike some players are practice players. She a leader. She's a leader. She's talkative, vocal. She's passionate because when y'all don't yeah. play the play and execute the play the right way, I swear her face is about as red as your IU t-shirt. I swear she gets lit. If you don't follow the simple directions, the way the play supposed to be played, she ready to throw a clipboard at you. She'll make a great coach. So she she ready to throw a clipboard at you. <laughs> I went too. That's how passionate it is, man. Listen. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm, overall, is there what would you like if you if you could pick one particular thing about T's game that you feel she could improve on, and you would like if you were like her her trainer or coach, what could she improve on that would elevate her game to the next level? It's definitely something I would have to think about. Okay, so I would say. She would get down on herself sometimes in the game. Yeah, she's hard on herself. She is. She's not the only person, though. That's okay. No, I, no, 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 no. Right. It's okay. It is. My thing is, I don't know if people notice, but I use a, a little quote from Skylar Diggins. It's okay. called play. Next play. When you don't make a shot or somebody stole the bar or something from you. Right. Hurry up and get down to the next. Hurry up and go get that ball. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's next play. I'm right. not the only person that I tell that to. Trust mm. me. Because of everybody, mm. it's next play. I learned that in like, was I in middle school or high school? I think I learned that in middle school. Next right. play, next play, next play. I mm. get it. Trust me. I get frustrated when I play ball. But you got to get your butt down there. You can't just stop. She don't stop, but it's like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But that's I, that's I get it. It's a different energy when she's hot and hitting shots versus when she's not making shots. Yeah. But that's it. But, like, she, when she hot, she hot. It's over for everybody. <laughs> it's over. She's hitting that's everything. That's a baller. That's yeah. a baller. Yeah. I like that. No, that, that was good. That was good. Um, We already kind of broke down the Royals rivalry. What, as the GM, first-year GM of the Indianapolis Wolves, what is your season's expectations and predictions for this season? Okay, the expectations is, first of all, I don't I don't expect us to win every single game, okay? That's, that's being realistic. I got you. Yeah, I want to be realistic. I don't expect us to win every single game. Like, that's, that's sometimes rare. But I do expect us to win. Okay, so we might have like maybe like twelve games out the season or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, I expect us to win like at least nine of them, nine ten of them. You I'm gonna me? stop you right there. You're good. So when me and Aaron talked about this and I asked him the exact same question, you will not believe it. But he said the exact same number you did. Are you serious? <laughs> In the you unreleased serious? episode that nobody's ever gonna see. <laughs> he literally he said, "We're gonna. Either. We have a potential to play twelve games. I want to go nine and three. He literally said, and we agree. That's a literally. great number. Great number. That's perfect. So I just want to let you know, 
we all on the same wave on that part. We all said the same thing. Yeah, like I expect us to go nine and three, like out of twelve games. We might have a little bit more. I'm not sure, but twelve games, we went. I'll be disappointed if we like. I don't know. I just I think we have a very good team, and I, agree. I think we got it. <laughs> we got it. This is this, just, this, this, this go back to what I said to Aaron. I said the 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 staff. Essentially, all of us have played ball to a high enough yeah. level that we're competitive by nature. Yes. None of us like losing. None of us like losing when you when you're in a winnable situation and you have a wing team, a team that's capable of producing wins. Yeah. So the expectation should be from the staff down, we should win more games than we lose because we're gonna get better every week. We're gonna we're gonna see it in practice every week. We're going to see it on the court per quarter, per game, per yes. week. Anything we do to improve week in and week out should produce more wins than losses. Based on the trajectory that we've we're already we're already 2 and 0 as a team. Yes, it's far. So let's not sleep on that. And I honestly like you said, I honestly feel like out of all the teams we got coming up they're going to be difficult. Reason. It's, it's, gonna, gonna it's gonna be, be challenging. It's gonna be challenging. But if everybody I buys think, into it, we should win. Yeah. Got in the bag. It's just gonna be very challenging. And I get it. I mean, that's basketball. That's the beauty of it, actually. That's the beauty of basketball to me. Mm -hmm. These games should be challenging. A game shouldn't be too easy. If a game's too easy, it's like, what are we doing? Like, why are we even playing this game? That's how I feel, because it's like that's fair. I don't want to play a team that I know that's not that good or something like that. That barely has like, I don't even know how to explain it. No, I got it's you. I got I got one for you. So there's certain in NBA and WNBA, there are okay. certain teams that play down to their competition. Okay, yeah. So if you play lower level competition, you're not gonna elevate your game, you're gonna regress. Because you're coming down to play a lower level team, it doesn't require the effort or the energy or the passion to win. You know you're gonna win, so you're not gonna try nothing to improve because you already know if I just half ass it, I'll win. We need to be at our level and not scoop down to their level. Make the players that make the teams that are lower level play at your level. Exactly, they gotta play at our level. We the big dogs. You feel me? We the big dogs. We the big wolves. You feel me? 